driving into Epcot and take a look. There is Spaceship Earth. Let's go experience Epcot as Florida residents. Gotta love it. Gotta love every minute of it. It's definitely a weird feeling. It's definitely a weird feeling. And I have to admit, you know, some of the, the anticipation, the anticipation for the parks is fading slightly. It doesn't mean the excitement is fading. It's the anticipation of seeing Spaceship Earth. I love it, you know I do. But it's the anticipation of it, knowing that it's coming, because I can be here as many days as I want, which is equally fantastic. Oh my gosh, that feeling! Okay, it's back. There, there's a big, <laughs> there's a big feeling right there. Oh wow. Uh, you know, it's not. I wish I could have better ability to describe this. What, what is it? It's, it's excitement. It's fun. It's happy. It's memories that come back. What am I missing? What, what am I trying to say? I put it like this. It's less of a build-up. Like we're used to for oh for example the first couple days we're here we're like okay we're not going in the parks until this day and so that was like the build up piece you don't yes. have to build up anymore like oh my trip's in a week my trip's in two months now it's just like ah I'm constantly on a trip but being here it, I liked how you worded it anticipation versus excitement and excitement is all still there anticipation is less there yeah I even think the excitement's even more yes part of it because there's more to look forward to like to, every day every restaurant yeah to me the excitement's almost made up for all that anticipation. Yeah. It, it's, I feel like it's better for me. It's even better. My style of vacation, relaxing, yes. you know, nice and calm, you can go all the time, you miss anything, I'll come back tomorrow for it. Well, I, guess I love really it. So that's, I love it. I love it's, that. It's an evolving feeling, evolving feeling, but well said. Thank you. Oh gosh, yeah, yeah, it's still there. It's still there, no need to worry. Oh, I love it. Take a look on the left hand side, the monoliths right there are still here. On the right hand side, they're gone. Wow, that's uh, that is a huge change, enormous change. Feels like a totally different entrance. It doesn't, yeah, it does not feel like the same style entrance that we're used to. But you know what? I actually think I prefer this. I really do. It's um, it's so much more open. I like this better. What do you, what do you think? So you got the monoliths over there, and the open space here. What do you think? I like the open space. Yeah. At the same time, I can appreciate the monoliths. I, I don't know. I, the concept art that I've seen, I've got to show you the concept art too. It looks fantastic. Okay. I, I feel like this is this is a grander way to showcase Spaceship Earth. Yeah, I like this. Welcome home, dude. David's really good at keeping me hydrated. So we're starting it off with water and then I think we're going to stop by Club Cool to experience it before it does close. But not to worry, Club Cool will be opening back up with the renovations to Epcot. One thing that I will miss tremendously that is closing that is not scheduled to return, but will return maybe in a different way, the Fountain of Nations. I love this fountain. Gonna miss it tremendously, but we gotta keep moving forward. <laughs> gotta appreciate all the drinks of Club Cool. We would try Beverly, but they ran out. So not today, maybe before they close, but I have a fit, yeah, they did, I'm serious. They, ran, they really ran out. And uh, <laughs> trying the, all the other ones today, they're all delicious. One of my all-time favorites, Bebo. I like that one. That one's very good. The Phantom Melon, the Bebo, some of my favorites. Agreed, those are great options. Strawberry soda. I like that one, I do, but it has too much of a medicine taste to me. To me, the Bebo is better. That's just me. I still like it though. I think Melon is my favorite so far. I, I, I don't love this one. Mm -hmm. you want the pineapple? No. Pineapple Fanta from Greece. The Melon and Bebo are far better. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I, I would maybe put this competitive for the top three. Really? Yeah. No. Compared to the others. One of our first experiences in Epcot to start it off as Florida residents, it has got to be Spaceship Earth. Let's do it. Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed to the universe of time. For a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. This will be the first time riding Spaceship Earth where we get to actually say on the map where we live is Florida. Give it 
and I just sent our spaceship Earth picture to our email. Looking for it around here, and we're probably gonna go stop by Starbucks before fish and chips in England. I feel like my energy is just a little bit low, but David reminded me that I was up for an entire night. I missed an entire night's sleep, and I haven't been getting a full eight hours every single day since, so that's probably why. I don't think it's the fact that I'm at Disney, I think it's just simply the fact that I haven't gotten much sleep since that drive. I'm glad we're here safely. We'll definitely be able to catch up on sleep this weekend. Just glad to be here in general. This Starbucks is definitely needed. This iced venti cloud caramel macchiato is thanks to the Kodani family. Kodani family, thank you so much for your gift card. I really appreciate it. That's not bad. I like that. Mine needs a little bit of sweetener, dude. What do you think? It's pretty good. It is. It's thicker, as they were saying. Yeah. A little bit more milky, creamy, yeah. maybe. I like it. Yeah. I like it. No sweetener needed for me. I need some. I feel like the cloud caramel macchiato is perfect for like a lukewarm day. So like when it's like 80 degrees and not 95 degrees. Still really do like it, but I feel like it's for a little bit cooler weather. I agree. I, I don't feel like it's the coldest drink yeah. I've had. I also like adding my extra ice for my water to here. So if you want to add more ice in there, grab an extra cup of some ice, get some water, drink that water, and then add the ice. Smart call. David's favorite, the figment section. Walking back into World Showcase. It's been six years for you. How's that feel? It feels good. It feels amazing. It really, really does. And that, that coffee energy is hitting me a little bit now. feels good. It's hard to describe this feeling. It's fun. It's exciting. It's also really weird. Like, I wonder, like, what's, what's tomorrow going to hold? What am I going to experience the day after that? And I don't know. It's, I, I wish I had better words for this. I really wish I did, but I, I don't. Epcot International Food and Wine Festival for the very first time starts August 29th for David. Never experienced before. Yeah. That excitement level. Ah, this is where I'm going to get tea from now on. This is my local tea shop now. Ah. Have a lovely day. Appreciate it. You too. It smells so good. Yeah, we're just trying to get a little fry. Just getting a French fry. Oh, okay. It's fish and chips from England. Our first time as Florida residents. Thanks to the Child's family. Child's family, thank you again so much for your gift card. Really appreciate it. First taste of the fish and chips, starting with the fish. Bon appetit. Mm. I'm so glad they did a great job with this one, David. As good as you remember. So good, better than I remember. No, oh. way up there. I feel like I, I never remember how good it is here. You know, it's it's a must, a must. Wow. It's a must. I think this is the best fish and chips I've had here ever. They made it extremely well today. In terms of food you've had at Epcot before, and thinking of food you've had years ago, is this your absolute favorite right now? Anyway, right now. Yes. Okay. Yes. You heard Easy. it here first. Fish I, and chips. I love seafood. I don't. I, I'm telling you, I don't remember the fish and chips being this good, but it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Overall, a fantastic meal here at Epcot. I loved it. I know we get it again pretty fast. It was, it was so so good. The tartar sauce added for me. I know you feel like it wasn't really necessary, but for me, the tartar sauce added so much. I would get it again in a heartbeat. I think if the tartar sauce were colder. It might have been even better for me. Mm. Chilled tartar sauce. I hadn't even thought about that one. It's a good point. Very full. I'm very full. Now we're making our way towards Norway and Frozen Ever After, David's first time ever. You know, it's simply the walking around. It's the background music. It's the seeing World Showcase Lagoon. There's just there's something special that I don't think I can catch with words to describe how magical this is. Do you feel the same way? Agreed. It, it's totally amazing. The minor details, yeah, like these pillars with the Canada emblem, yeah, or just the feeling, the smells. It's, it is. It, it's a whole experience. We can stop just like right here. Just stop at this table, experience the views, and no rush. No rush at all. I love it. Illuminations Farewell 2019. It hurts to think about, but I'm so glad to be here for the merchandise that's available. And look at these really cool tumblers right here. Farewell to Illuminations. And right inside, look at that globe opening. Wow. This shirt, I think, is my favorite. Got to get one of those, but got to be careful with cost, too. As much as I love this mug, probably going to have to hold off on that one. These ears, very, very cool as well. Pins. Ah. I wish I could get it all, but you got you got to budget yourself. You got to be smart about these things. So, this black shirt, David might get one too. Maybe uh, we're still deciding that one, but hopefully he does because I, I love the matching look. Take a look at the construction here around the Mexico Pavilion. Usually a very good view of illuminations. Clearly they're working on it for even better views in the future. We're in line for Frozen Ever After right now. It's a 50-minute wait, but that is not too bad, especially when you have the next trip, which is. Um, 
It's a while away. This is uh, next trip to two, three, four. Twenty, twenty-three. Uh, twenty-three 20, hours. Hours. 20, 20, yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Tomorrow. 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 Attention to detail like never before, especially in the queue line. Take a look. There's Sven and Kristoff, and even the medal that they got for all the awards that they did. Oh, hey there. How are you? Hey. <laughs> Good to see you. I love it. Summer snow day blowout, and beware the Duke of Weaselton. Even more theming that I've never seen before. They have actually cloth attached to these planks of wood in line. I'll be out in a minute. Oh, and the deputy purchase. Three Lutefis. Big summer blowout. David's first ride on Frozen Ever After. Do you think you're going to love it? I think I will. Okay, think Just I will. seeing the pictures that I've posted and all that and video. Seeing the video you've posted and knowing sort of how I feel about the story. You know, how much I love the movies. It is, it's a story component as much it is, as it is an actual ride and how it's built component, I feel like. For example, like I love Figment. Even though the ride could probably be improved or the ride used to be better, just the, the story and the concept and the character also, I think makes a ride. So for that reason alone, I'm looking forward to the ride. Right. Let's do it. Here we go. What did you think, Dave? It's a great ride. It made me remember Maelstrom a little bit too. That was an awesome ride as well. But really love the theming, the snowman. See Olaf over and over and over. A lot of nice parts. In Norway, you know we've got to get a picture with that troll. Starting to drizzle just a little bit, so I might need to put you in the poncho. But we're making our way around now, just kind of walking around, exploring, seeing the sights. Maybe get another drink, maybe some little small snacks, maybe. And then we're gonna get in line for our fast pass to Illuminations, Reflections of Earth. Made it in from the rain. Now we're inside the Mexico Pavilion. Just taking a look around, taking it in. And that smell, I love that smell in the Mexico Pavilion. Think about all the restaurants we're gonna try here in the future and things we're gonna experience. 40 minutes before our fast passes for Illuminations, let's head on the Grand Fiesta Tour featuring the three Caballeros. I know that I still do this part of it, take photos all the time, but I feel so much more relaxed rather than in vacation mode. <laughs> I need a Donald Pinata like that. Those balloons look rather familiar. I feel like they were maybe in the exact same spot the last time we were here. David and I are looking at stores and shops and things to do, but I think for both of us, we're kind of locked in vacation mode at the moment. We're, we're stuck with the idea of, oh, we've got to go see the fireworks, and we've got to go this, and got to go that, and go to the rides and all this. But I think after a few, maybe weeks, possibly a month, we'll have a different mindset. I feel like that's all going to change. And now I'm starting to think maybe it'll be a month or two months. I'm start now I've got the longer vote uh -huh. in terms of how long we'll settle in. Maybe. It's like it rained a little bit outside, but I think, I think we found the... Uh, spot in between the rain. Be ready for this, David. Look at all these booths that are being built all around us. Looks tasty. Food and wine. The time is now 8.18, and to me, this is very few people in line for illuminations. Maybe it's because it just rained. Maybe the rain kind of sent a few people back to the resorts. This is, this is nothing. We've got about 20 minutes now until we are let in for Illuminations Reflections of Earth. It's gonna be a great show. Illuminations Reflections of Earth, my favorite fireworks show at Walt Disney World at the time of filming, and plenty of open space in the Fast Pass viewing area. I can't wait. One of my favorite soundtracks in all of Walt Disney World. Five minutes to go before Illuminations Reflections of Earth. It's hard to put it into words. I'm just sitting back here, just relaxing for a minute. And, uh, I, I do not believe that I live here. I do not believe it yet. I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. But um, I'm just so happy to be here, that's all. Just so happy to be here. This is the first official fireworks show of being Florida residents because Happily Ever After was kind of at an interesting angle. As much as I enjoyed it, I wouldn't call it the official one. This, this is the official first fireworks show being Florida residents. On a more personal side note, I'm wondering if the show will still have the same emotional effect for me seeing it as a Florida resident. Let's find out. And to share a story, an amazing story.
love that show so much. David, what did you think? That's amazing. That is really an amazing one to see. I'm glad we can see it a couple times. A couple times. While it's still around. Uh, if on a personal note, it still does have an emotional effect on me for very good reasons, but it's uh, I love that show. I just love the music, love the fireworks, love all of it. Remember, he did get sunscreen in his eye yesterday. Yeah, yeah, maybe some okay. more in my eye now. Throw some more in there. There you go. Oh, I'm gonna miss this show when it's over. Definitely. I'm gonna miss it. This is the easiest leaving Epcot I've ever experienced in my entire life. My entire life is just so easy. And part of me is like, that's not a good thing. But another part of me is like, yes, that is a very good thing. Because we get to experience this any day we want to because Welcome to the backyard. I saw this window right here and I couldn't turn away. I've got to take a picture in front of it. Another advantage of being a Florida resident is not having to rush off to the buses. You remember when we would rush off, me and the buses, and there'd be this huge line, everyone would be packed in late at night, falling asleep, trying to get back to the resort. Now it's just walk back to the car, blast that air conditioning as much or as little as you want to, and then head back for another magical day any other day. I like that part. I really, really do. Electric Umbrella is closing too. This is another spot I want to make sure that we come to before it closes. So they've got some great items there, great memories too. That's going to be a priority. Home sweet home. I, I, oh, I, I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just, this is going to take months. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to you're gonna have to deal with this excitement for months. So sorry about that. You're going to have to deal with it. But, ah. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to accept this is real life for a while. I mean, it's going to it's going to take me a bit to truly accept that this is my backyard. Thank you so much for sharing in the magic with us today. It was so much fun to share it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. See you real soon.